Hello everybody, Realm Builder Guy here, and welcome back to the channel, and something new here. It is time to take a first look at the new Warhammer 40k game from Slytherin and Black Lab Games, Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector, a new turn-based strategy game. Uh, this game is set to be released in the coming months, and Slytherin was kind enough to get me a pre-release beta test review first look copies, so thank you so much for that. But of course, that will have no impact on my thoughts and feelings, the pros and the cons of this game, or at least the initial feedback, the initial impressions I've had from it. Now, this is not the full release version yet, uh, because, well, they're still building, it's still the beta. And as such, of course, there's still some things that will be subject to change, but it's a great one to kind of get a feel for the game and get an understanding for the game. Uh, I did play through the tutorial and kind of the opening moves of one of the uh, campaign missions. I have to say, this is going to be a pretty positive review overall. So let's dive into the game and I will tell you a little bit more about it. So as you can see, in top left corner it says beta subject to change. So what is 40K, Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector? Well, it's a turn-based strategy game, um, but it is the feeling, and you've probably seen this from a few other people that have uh, kind of given it a first look, it, it is turn-based, but it plays a lot faster than a lot of turn-based games that you would be used to, be it 40k or anything else. Um, upon full release, there will be multiple modes available to you. There will be this Age of Crimson Dawn single-player campaign uh, game mode where you play 20 different missions and you explore the aftermath of the devastation of Baal, and you are supporting Sergeant Carleon and the Blood Angels to purge Baal Secundus of the Tyranid infestation. And now, what Slytherin was kind enough to share, this game is planned to be modular with new factions, units, heroes, and tile sets to be added in future expansions. In addition, once the game releases in the next few months, uh, aside from the single-player campaign, you will also have skirmish mode, where you can take over either as the Tyranids or as uh, the Blood Angels. Then on top of that, there will be multiple multiplayer versions available or modes available. So you can either do live online, you can play via email, which is interesting, and you can do hot seats. So everybody at the same computer, just uh, taking over one after another. So the first impressions I got from this game is it looks great. It definitely captures the feel of the four Warhammer 40k universe, where I am still relatively new to it, um, diving more in depth into it. Uh, but this is what I expect 40k to kind of feel and look like. Uh, the voice acting that they've added to it sounds perfect, in my opinion. The sound effects are good. The music's good. Overall, the audio visual quality is very, very good. If you look at the UI here, you've got a good overview of your different troops over here. Then you can hide unit lists. So they're no longer visible to you. You can click them on and you can then select them individually. And then clicking this or command button P, you can cycle through the next unused units. In the bottom, you've got different uh, actions you can take, like here you can move, you can change which direction you're facing, as well as overwatch mode. Overwatch mode is a great one because you create a reactive zone of fire. So if any enemy units go through that zone of fire, well, then you will automatically engage. Then you also have different weapons here. So for instance, Brother Quindar, he's got a Storm Bolter. You can see a range of one to five, base damage three to four, armor piercing one, base accuracy 90, uh, accuracy fall off 10 per tile, cost one action point. And then here you've got the Force Halberd, range is melee or melee, however you wanna say it, I could say melee. Base damage 90 to 120, armor piercing nine, base accuracy 95, cost one action point. So you have multiple action points. You can see he's got four movement points, two action points, an armor of seven, 
an evasion of 20, which obviously helps. And then here is your overall health and your momentum. So momentum is another game mechanic you have in here. You can do uh, Overwatch, like I already talked about. You can hide behind different things as cover, which helps you. Melee is part of it. You can get a charge bonus. You have a zone of control, so anything around you that you automatically then have a reaction to. If they attack you, you have a counterattack. If they leave your zone of control, then you have what's called an attack of opportunity. If you play RPG games, you know what that means. Uh, you can also call in air support and you have momentum as well. The other nice thing is as you move mission to mission through this campaign, your units carry over so you can bring them from battle to battle and really, really enjoy them. Now, uh, you've got multiple commands you can do and hotkeys Z here for move, G for changing your facing, O for overwatch. On top of that, you can click on I. What needs fixing? There you can hear what he says. I for interact. You can either click here or you could just click I and he will turn that off. Then you can move him over here. It shows you where you need On to go. You'll head over there and click I again. It wouldn't be a regular day if we didn't avert certain death, only to discover another source of certain death waiting for us. For the glory of St. Winnis. So, yeah, the, the voice acting, what they've done with it, the feel, the look, the graphics, I'll be honest, I think it's pretty awesome. Then you've got your typical WASD and uh, your Q and E as well. Now this l a blue line here, that's basically everything that you can perceive uh, from your character. Uh, you can click on him. He is now out of action points, so he can't really do much of anything. Then you My hear is yours to come on. Brother Quindar. This over here is Tech Marine Kroganax. My will never tires. Now you can move him as far as movement points go. He can move four. So we can move him all the way up here. Or we can set Overwatch. And I'll just show you that real quickly here. If I click on O, Overwatch, you can see where that zone of control is basically in the sense of not zone of control but basically if the enemy moves within this overwatch then you will automatically engage in fire so let's uh Forever watching. click right there overwatch mode so now he is if this uh tyrannofex moves in here well then you will automatically shoot and we click on p to Your the next orders. unused units we can see we are on a completely other side of the battlefield with a large amount of troops. Now, what's great about this, and you can see here some enemy troops, is you can give your commands to move to different spots. Let's see, let's split, our, split up our troops here a little bit. Um, I'm gonna move a few up this way and a few to engage directly with the enemy. So what we'll do here is I can click on these guys and move Moving. them over here. I will move them all the oh, way over oh. here. So you don't have to wait. Moving into position. Ready to strike. As you can see, they will move everywhere. Here's Brother the blood Arturo. Waits. I go where I am here. Needed. Just kind of cycle through these guys. With haste. Now if we just engage in some combat here. Hell blasters awaiting target. You know, they can't do anything anymore because there are not enough action points I am available. Ready to help. Um, so let's just move everybody into position. So there's constant movement and going forward. Now we do have an eject objective. Deactivate the Promethean Flow Primus in four turns. Uh, protect the Librarian Dreadnought as well. Now you can also go into map mode. So we uh, press M. And you can see here is, it looks like uh, the main objective. Then WASD also scrolls you through here. So I think we'll probably need to move some people over in this way. If we, uh, uh, units with AP, click on and off. That'll show you who has uh, AP. You can hide that. And then objectives, turn it off and turn it on. So you need to go there. So we're gonna actually detach some of these guys 
and move them over this way. You want to get out of map mode. Map mode's great for uh, forming a strategy. You just click M again. Now, of course, we've got two of our troops over here facing some enemies here. A rather formidable enemy. The Toronto Fex has 380. Uh, if we look at these guys here, we've got Brother Quindar is 350 health points. And then the Tech Marine, he's got 180. So this is this is going to be a feisty one. But we'll move some of these guys over here. So hit M A again. And let's see, does anybody have unused points? They don't, so we will click and turn. So now the Tyranids are moving into position and they will engage in combat. As they're moving in, you can see kind of the the special effects are I, or special effects. Call them special effects. The, the effects um, and the graphics and how the attacks are shown. You know, obviously the blood, uh, the blasters, everything looks absolutely fantastic. I have to say I'm really impressed because I have played 40k games way back when, way back when I say like within the last 15 years I've kind of dabbled in them. They popped up. I liked the setting overall. There you can see, he gets into that Overwatch uh, line of fire, so you automatically engage with him. Uh, but again, I've played some 40k games in years past and didn't really like them. I didn't think they were really good. I thought they were a little bit corny. So uh, as such, I wasn't really expecting a ton from this. I know Slytherin has done other 40k games, which have been very, very well received. Uh, and this one so far, I have to say, having only put a little bit of time into it, I'm looking forward to full release as I will spend some time with it. Here you got some some flying units coming in. Overall, it's a pretty fantastic game. I, it looks great, it sounds great, and it plays great. All right, so now it is our turn. So let's uh, go around this way. And we're going to take him. And we're going to use a... Let's see, what can we do here? Uh, Omnissa's Touch. Heal single target mechanical ally. So, let's see. Where are we sitting here? He still has plenty of hit points. We're going to use a bolt pistol. He's going to turn and shoot. So, again, doesn't doesn't really help My much. Yours to command. He's blocked all of those shots. So, obviously, that didn't really work. So we can move a little bit closer and maybe engage in melee. And that uh, costs immediately 100 hit points. And now, of course, he's going to attack as well. But you can see that was a huge hit. So here, the key one would have been, again, to engage with melee. So this is just stuff that I'm kind of learning on the fly. We can do with him, we could move him out of position, but that will give him a, an opportunity, an attack of opportunity. So we're not going to do that. Let's see, he can still shoot again. So that gives him some hit points. Uh, but other than that, we're just going to leave him where he is. Anti -grab ready. Now we're going to move over here and engage with our troops here. Uh, first things first, though. We do have the objective all the way over there. So I want to deploy Your orders. these guys over move here. In. Close combat support. Alright, so we're gonna move those guys out. Land speeder crew awaiting orders. Firing on the enemy. Engage them. Alright, take them. Engaging the enemy. Turn, face, and shoot. That's a pretty good volley. The good enemy. salvo in there. Alright, perfect. Now they could move, but again, that will give them a uh, an attack of opportunity as we move out. There's really not much more we can do there. We could move them... Let's see. Let me show you an attack of opportunity if they will give us one. Nope. 
No attack of opportunity there, but we will move them up into position there to engage with those. Uh, with them, we're just going to keep them where they are. Now let's move on over here and start Target these attacks. Acquired. You can see the blaster's not overly accurate. Let's see, what can he do? He can do a bolt pistol. Then we could do a chain sword. Heal thy brother and righteous exhortation. So plus 20 for... 5% melee damage. Let's do a chainsword. Go in there with the chainsword. Show him that. That was that's pretty cool. It just looks cool. It just looks cool. Alright, now these guys are gonna engage with them. That was pretty effective. I am the sword of Sanguinius. So we're gonna move him over here. So the sergeant himself. Uh, let's go in with base damage. We're going to use the sword. He can also use his jump pack. So plus two movement, minus 20% ranged accuracy, and tactical precision affects single target ally within two uh, tiles. So the leaders will give uh, advantages to their units under their command. So that was a pretty cool attack there. We'll move him up here. And then engage with uh, the Bolstrom Gauntlet. Open fire! On those guys. So they're all gone. So now they can actually move into position here. And they have got no more attacks there. Let's see, what do we have here? We have supercharge and plasma incinerator. So we're gonna move them. We're gonna actually move him back. See, now here comes that attack of opportunity. And that was pretty bad. That was 77. So we'll move them over here. And they're gonna come in that zone of control and engage that attack of opportunity. So they have no more action points. These guys cannot engage there. So what we're going to do with them instead, we will move them On over to way. this side and move forward. So I'm just kind of playing through this opening scenario. All right, so he could still shoot them. So that's... Missed a little bit, but again, you can also move uh, into cover. All right, so we'll just move him further up here. Let's see, does anybody else have movement points? They still have movement points, so we'll move them up here. It's just a nice way to kind of cycle through. As you can see, nobody is unused anymore. This would be red. So now let's end turn and see what the enemy does. You can see they were all still gaining hit points against them because of that poison attack from these guys. So it's pretty lethal what they can do. The enemy waits so for us. Definitely need to take them out. Was a big, big hit in re-engaging with him. So you can, if you go away from the unit, like over here, we can hit spacebar, and it'll relock with whichever unit is currently engaged in combat. So that's kind of nice. If you, so if you're ever losing your position on the battlefield, you're not quite sure where you are, where you have to go. Just hit spacebar and you go back. So it's very intuitive. There aren't a ton of commands to memorize, just a few to learn. And given that this is not RTS, given that this is turn-based, you know, it's not like um, if we think of Total War, where if you kind of start losing your head, especially as a new player, you just hit pause, which kind of helps. 
But here, you're still in the moment because you have a turn to really kind of think about your next moves. Once you get these commands down, it feels very, very natural. Very natural. And they're, uh, the, the, it's intuitive, the overall layout. If you don't want to use your commands on your keyboard, you, of course, have the commands right in the UI, and they make perfect sense. You can see those units flying right over the top there. It's, uh, again, visually, it's a great game. Carleon. It looks fantastic. Carleon, Matano. Require urgent encoded response. I have orders directly from the Red Council. I hear dissent among the Librarius. They are concerned a synaptic network binds Balfora. You've already found the Librarian. Good. Protect him. He can help uncover whatever evil is hiding in the Heaven Wall. Do not tarry, Carleon. I do not like the tone this Red Council has taken. All right, so it's now it's our turn again. So we're going to go around here, and with him, we're going to click on two and use the Force Halberd, because we figured out that that was definitely the weapon of choice to use against that uh, big boy right there. So now we're going to go to him. And he can use the touch to uh, do some healing. We'll have you back up in no time. That's given him 75 more points, which is really, really nice. And now we will take our little pistol and do a little extra damage. Let's see who's next. All right, now we will engage with these guys here. And move forward. All right, so they uh, let's move them. Well, they can just shoot from a distance. Very nice. So you kind of get an idea of what this game looks and feels like. Again, we need to head over here because this is the objective points. Uh, if we go back to the M. The objectives, that is an objective. Let's see, is there, they talked about uh, the librarian. Not exactly sure where that is. Protect the librarian dreadnought. But I'm sure I can figure that out. Anyway, hitting M. Again, I think for a first look, this gives you a, a good feel for what it looks like. Again, we're not in a, I say again a lot in this one, I just realized. <laughs> but I have to reiterate the things that I have been saying. See? Different way of saying again. <laughs> this is a beta build. So it's not a complete game. It's not a complete campaign. I can't really show you what happens after you complete the campaign and where, or the mission and you go to the next mission. What happens then? Because that's not what this build is. This build is meant for a test and a first view of the game. And I have to say, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I really enjoyed Engaging it. The enemy. I'm looking forward to giving this more time uh, as it gets more fleshed out. I'll move those guys up front here. On our way. Them over to the front as well. Because again, our objective is over that way. The swarm has no right to live. I love the look and feel of this game. It's so, so much fun. All right, we're actually just going to have a little bit of fun here. Going to kill those guys off. And, uh, yeah, I could just play more and more and more. But for a first look, I feel like, the, and you could see, you had a critical hit there. Well, now we'll move these guys up to then engage with the enemy. Fly him over here. Uh, taking fire. Yes, I know you're not, you're all taking fire. Battle line squad ready. All right, so we can cycle Close through the next one. Support. Let's use a chainsword. The swarm has no right to live. That's right, the swarm has no right to live. Critical hits there, and they have all been killed. All right, uh, I kind of want to take care of these guys and kill them all off. 
That's some that's some good shooting there, buddy. The blood waits. He help out, kill there. That's not a whole heck of a lot, but every little bit counts. Plasma fire support ready. Let's see, I'll just do this. Shoot in there. I'd like to kill them off at least just to end this. He's still around. Out of action points. Open fire! I'll use them to finish him off, ideally. And there he goes. Alright. So those guys are dead. You get a good feel for this game. Is this a game that I would recommend? Yes, absolutely. So Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector from Slytherin and Black Lab Games looks to be absolutely fantastic. A ton of fun. As you saw here, I just kept on playing, kept on playing. I didn't finish the mission, of course, because that's not the point of this. The point is to give me a first look and give you a first look into Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector. In my opinion, it is definitely worth checking out uh, and spending some money on it. If you like Warhammer 40,000, the universe, I think you'll really enjoy this game. It captures the feel and theme of it. In a turn-based strategy combat battle games, and I think when they add more and more over time, especially once all the different multiplayer modes come in, skirmish mode you can play around with, this is a game that you can get a ton of replayability in it. Uh, it is available through my Nexus GG store, so the link is down in the description. I'll give you a Steam code so you can play this game upon release, which will be in the next few months exact time frame. I'm not sure, but I'm sure you will find out pretty soon. So, if you enjoyed this, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new so you don't miss out on anything. And let me know down in the comments if uh, what your thoughts are on this first impression of Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector. And if you are a Warhammer 40k and a Warhammer and or Warhammer Fantasy fan, I would be curious to find that out. So, until next time, I'm Realm Builder Guy, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.